Hey everyone, this is Josh Gutman here from Peachtree Pocus, back to review another handheld ultrasound machine. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Cosmos by Echonos, which is a fantastic uh, company that put through a wonderful uh, ultrasound product, and it's definitely going to serve a lot of you well. I will say to start out that it's going to be most helpful for those who are very interested in doing advanced cardiac ultrasound as far as point of care ultrasound is concerned as far as i know cosmos is the only one that can do a uh, full cardiac ultrasound which really can include spectral doppler so if you're uh, someone who does critical care does cardiology does emergency medicine or internal medicine and wants to be able to have the functionality to do full spectral doppler that includes continuous wave and pulse wave and especially the continuous wave a lot of the ultrasound machines, the handhelds can't do continuous wave Doppler, which is important for valvular assessments and and looking at pulmonary pressures. That's something that you do. And I like to have that functionality in at least one of my machines in the department. So if that's important to you, this is a, a great machine to consider. It's been around for a few years. It does have some AI functionality, which I'm going to tell you about. And I got to use it the last couple of weeks and been uh, really happy with the image quality, which has been fantastic and, to be honest, can basically repl replicate some of the cart-based machines. But let me show you it and some of the functionality, and I'll show you some images that I've taken over the weeks. First of all, I'd like to show you the case that it came in. This is the case right here. What's really great about this case is it actually fits nicely around. This is a picture of myself with the strap around, so it really nicely fits carrying around. And there you can see it sitting on my hip, so it was really easy to carry around as I was going about the department to different places, and it was actually um, quite comfortable. It's got this is really extensive pocket. You can seal some ultrasound probes in there. I'm going to show you the couple of probes it comes with. You have the linear transducer for all your linear scanning, and then you have what's called the torso transducer, and this is great for heart and abdomen, lungs, pretty much all your other scanning. You can see that the, the footprint of the head is actually very small, which is great fitting between ribs for your cardiac ultrasound. And in there, you can also carry, you can carry some gel, which I was able to just stick right there so I can take it around. And then if I have to throw in an IV, I can easily fit in some IV equipment and a different size that I had some 18s. Here I have 20, so I'll be able to have the different ones. And then on top of it, I can also have my charger so I can plug in the iPad. There's also a nice pocket right here that fits in the, the iPad really nicely. Let me show you some of the images and you're honestly gonna see based on the quality that it really is harder to, it's, it's actually gets hard to differentiate with the full cart based machines. These go for about 7,500 to eight grand, whereas some of these cart machine scenes are a lot more expensive. So it's something to consider. I used it portably, so I took it to the bedside, attached it to an iPad, carried it around like I showed you. But also these uh, can also come be put on an iPad stand. They call it a bridge. You can basically uh, stick it on just like any other cart based machine. And while um, I only can put in one probe to the iPad at a time. The way these bridges work is that uh, it, it's really like a car pace. You can have both um, probes attached for really just all your, your imaging. So it has that ability to do both, which is um, really nice. So here we are on the ultrasound machine. You can see it on the first page. It's uh, not that many things, which is good, and it's quite prominent. You can see heart, lungs, abdomen, so whatever you want to scan shows up really quickly. You can add patients over here, review exams, get into your settings, and learn a few things about the ultrasound. So you can just go ahead and start scanning. The probe is attached. I have the torso one, as you can see in the top right corner, which is the torso probe that I had mentioned. So let's start with cardiac. So once you get onto the screen, just to introduce you to some of the things that you're going to see, you have the uh, preset up here. So here is the heart. And then if you click on that, you can uh, then change your preset to either the lung or the abdomen. And then down here is some of the AI, which we'll be able to show you soon. <clears throat> but I really want to show you some of the quality that you're going to get. You have the depth here, and then you press on that, and you can easily scroll through whatever depth you need. And then you have the gain, which you can change to the near field or the far field gain, however you want to, to do it. So it's nice to have that option. And then down here, 
on the bottom left corner is where you can choose your different modes. Like I said, you can do a full echo. You have color, you have continuous wave, M mode, tissue Doppler, and pulse wave, really everything you need to get a full echo. You just tap on it and you can go and it comes up on the screen like you normally would. And then in the bottom corner, you have saving your clip and saving the still image. Um, so it's really nice. So I'm gonna show you some of the quality stuff that you can get. Um, um, I'm going to start here with the uh, parasternal long axis view. This is on myself. Um, I do not have, while sitting here, the greatest um, long, parasternal long axis view. So even with my parasternal long, which is not really that great, you can still see pretty well. And then if you tap on the trio button over here is where some of the AI guidance happens and so if you turn on you choose your parasternal long you can have guidance so if i turn on guidance it actually will tell me what i need to do you can see there in the left upper corner exactly what i need to do to get better better view so if you're new to this with artificial intelligence tell you exactly what to do so sliding up the sternum and i do that and then it says okay fan towards the sternum rotate optimize i probably need to rotate a little bit up here I'm going to come back down. There we go. And it tells me exactly what to do to get a better view. And when I get a great view, it tells me so. I'm going to turn that off for a second. Um, there's grading. So it tells you how good your view is. So again, if you're a novice and you're wondering like, hey, do I have a good view? You can get a good view and then it can actually set to auto capture you can look at the green below and it's set to auto capture. So that's really cool, especially if you're trying to know what a great view. And then if you're really a beginner and you need to know what everything is, you can have the AI labeling and it tells you where everything is there, which is really nice. So what's cool is that you can see that I really don't have a great image here, which is my fault and not the machine's fault because I just don't, while sitting up, have a great parasternal long axis, but it can still find everything in there. And so you can leave these all labeled. I'm going to turn it off, but you can leave these all on in order to, to really best tell what's what, especially if you're a beginner. So let's move to the apical four chamber, which is really a lot nicer on me. So here's a, an apical four, an apical five chamber view of myself that you can see just the quality of the image is really, is really like a, a full echo. You can really see everything really nicely. Um, just to show you the quality of the color, so obviously I, I, my, my echo is relatively normal, but the color looks like any of the Carface ultrasound machines. Get back to my five chamber view and I press color and I can move that over. I'm just moving it with my finger and it looks really nice. So I turn off color. The pulse wave Doppler, here if I was going to do a little diastology on myself, I press pulse wave, update. And I can freeze and I can save that image and you can see the E wave and the A wave really nicely. I can unfreeze, go back to 2D. If I was going to do some tissue Doppler on myself, I can click the tissue Doppler button, move the gate to where it needs to be, press update, and get a really nice wave over there. And then if, let's say, if I wanted to look in the aortic valve, what's really unique about this is to be able to do the continuous wave and the tissue Doppler to really do a full echo. So I can press on continuous wave and it gets me right through the aortic valve. So you can see that looks just like a regular echo. I can change the baseline. And then up here, I can adjust all the, the settings that I want, change the audio. I can change the sweep speed to be higher or lower. It is that I need to be in order to do my appropriate echo. So I'll turn this off. So it really is like doing a full, like a regular echo on a regular cart based machine. So that's fantastic. You have the trio button here, just like before, but you just change it to the apical four. You turn on the guidance. It tells you what to do. Now I already have a great view. So it actually says, okay, so I'm in a five chamber view. So it tells me to fan down a little bit. And now the heart comes up here. As I had a, a good view, it says, hey, you had a great view. Then I lost the view, but that's because I'm talking, but it had a heart that said the great view. If we turned on the grading, it can have grading here. There's my four chamber and it says, hey, it's great. And then it can actually then auto capture once I get a good image. Um, there you go. Perfect.
And, it, and if you notice there, you heard the little bing of it auto-capturing after I got a good image. So it didn't even have to wait. It says, okay, as soon as I got a good image, it auto-captured. So that AI feature is really cool. And there's the labeling from before. Obviously, it's a better image. So the labeling is easier on the machine, but you can, you can get all this stuff at once, or you can turn it off if you don't want any of it on, on the screen. So you can do this again for the parasternal long, the apical four, or the apical two chamber. That's really cool. The other AI thing that it has is be able to get an auto EF from the apical four and apical two. So if you go back up to the top left and you hit the bottom AI part, then you have your image here. And then if you look in the bottom corner here, it wants you to get an apical four chamber view. So you can grab an apical four and then it starts calculating. If you have a really bad apical four, it'll tell you to reacquire it. But if you like it, you can just skip it. You can just capture it. And then, then it asks you for an apical two. Now you can actually skip it and not necessarily do an apical two, but I'll do an apical two chamber just for demonstration purposes. So there's my half decent apical two. I can take that apical two. And again, I could have skipped it if I wanted to. And then you can say accept and it spits out an EF. So this is my uh, EF. It's probably close to, to normal is what it should be. And you can see that it essentially did a, a modified Simpsons in both these planes in order to get the EF. So if you wanted an exact number, you can certainly use that AI um, to do that. That's fairly accurate. And then it will save. So let's go back. So that's as far as the cardiac AI. So that's really cool. Let's go on to the, the lung scanning. So here's the lung scanning. So we changed the preset to lung. And so you'll notice here, there's a lung, which looks really nice. As I breathe in and out, it looks like a, a great machine. Uh, a lung's a lung, looks normal. So here we have the abdominal scanning. Here's a right upper quadrant on myself. The gain can change as needed. I think I need a little bit more gain. And so if you're doing a fast exam, it's really easy to do. It gets in between the ribs and you can see the nice quality of a scanning it has over here. It has an AI feature. So if we turn on the fast AI, it actually will label it for us. So if you're a beginner and you want to know what you're looking at, you'll see all the labeling over there. So that's really cool. And it tells you, hey, you're in a right upper quadrant view, as you can see over here. So it's really helpful for those beginners. I'm going to turn that off a sec. Now in my left upper quadrant view, if I turned on that AI, it tells me what's what. So now it's um, in the left upper quadrant. And so you saw the splenorenal come in and out as you see the labeling. Okay, so I just want to show you some, some pictures that I took on patients, just to show you some of the quality, not just on myself when I'm doing it sitting up, but what it looks like on some patients that I did. So I start just for example, and here's you see when I'm reviewing the exams, it goes by what preset I was in, so it actually selects it and orders it nicely. And so even if I start down here at the heart, I can then click there, and here's a nice parasternal long axis view on a patient. You can see how high the image quality is. Obviously, this person has severe systolic dysfunction. Here's a here's the other another view. Here's the aortic valve view that you can see nicely. That you can just see it nice and crisp. Let's see what else I have. I have apical four chamber view on that same patient. That is just super nice quality, showing a poor EF. You can look here in the corner. I can start. I can do calculate. I can annotate. Uh, I can do everything I need to do after I save some of the images, including doing some of the calculations. Here's some of the color flow that just looks um, really nice. It was very, very high quality color, just like you would have with some of the larger machines. Here's a lung. You can see a couple of beelines. They look really nice and crisp, so that's really good. And let's look at some more. Here's an example of an IVC on a patient that's mostly collapsing. Um, this is a completely different patient, but you can uh, see how great that image is. And here I did a few different views on this person. This is a sub xiphoid view. And you can just, again, I just to stress the quality of the imaging that you get here. Um, this was a patient that was actually a little bit more difficult. This is an obese patient, but even with that obese patient, you still see that there's relatively good quality imaging. Here is that again, that obese patient, this is a pulse wave diastology that you can still see really nicely. 
Let's see what else we got here. That same obese patient, this is a patient that's very difficult. It would be difficult with any machine, but you can still see that it still looks nice and decent and able you to get exactly what you need to get. So those are just some examples of some images that I've taken before. This was some images I did of myself earlier today of the continuous wave and pulse wave. Oh, here's a continuous wave Doppler where I was able to actually put in the heart rate. And I got the, the velocity through the aortic valve on myself. And so you're able to do all those same calculations that you would do if you were doing a complete echo. Again, this is just a very robust and high quality machine that can essentially replace your car based machines at a fraction of the price. So here we have the linear transducer attached, and you can see that there's several different modalities you can use. You can do MSK, nerve, vascular, lung, depending on what you intend to look at with this transducer. So I'm going to choose vascular. And then I'm going to put the probe just on my neck. This is what you would do for procedural standpoint and so, or yeah, head and neck scanning, soft tissue, MSK, etc. So you can see my carotid here and then my IJ just above my carotid. You can see how it's fully compressible. So that's nice. Let me show you what that looks like in color, which you can find in that same location down here. So there's a color Doppler, and then you can change the color gain and the scale, the sensitivity, and all those things are here in, the, in that section over here. So if I wanted to change the color gain, I could just press color gain. I can change more or less as much as I want. So it's very easy with the tap of the finger. If I wanted to beam steer, because here it gets a 20% steer to begin with. It starts at 20, but I can change it. If I wanted to straighten it out and change this here, however I wanted to do it. To show you pulse wave Doppler, nice quality. I put the gate here. Perfect. Change off the pulse wave, go back to two. Even with the vascular access, you can see here is a look of my thyroid. That just really has nice high quality. I can put some color on it. Obviously my thyroid doesn't show up with color unless I'm talking, but it really is nice, high quality. And I can save, capture a video of that if I would like. You can see my carotid and IJ there in the corner. Now let's move on to peripheral veins. As you can see here, this is, I have my vein is compressible. I'm in my, essentially my anticubital fossa. And as I go along, you can see my basilic light up right here. If I wanted to change the depth, be able to see it nicely, I can change the depth. Here, so even though I actually don't have a tourniquet on, you can still see everything really nicely, a really nice size vein. I can take the gain up a little bit if I wanted to. I might do that a little bit. Really nice quality. For if I like doing a center line, in order to put in an IV, I can do that and it shows up really nicely and it really doesn't obscure anything. So you can see the quality of the, of the image. There you have it, that's the Cosmos. I hope you enjoyed this review and that you really got a sense of what this ultrasound machine was like and if it would be great for you to have in your in your department in your practice in your hospital certainly i really enjoyed having it thank you to uh, to the Econos for loaning me the ultrasound machine to try out and thank you so much so, so much for listening once again if you uh, need any assistance setting up your ultrasound program whether it's operations billing etc or education email me info at petriepocus.com or visit my website at petriepocus.com and let's get started having a conversation see you next time